as a Rimu is really, really prickly. You can't feel that, but you can see it. Ouch, it's really, really prickly. And Captain Cook used this to brew beer on the Endeavour. It's full of vitamin C, so he, he brewed some beer, he used this for flavouring, and he cured his crew of scurvy. So it's, and that's what they call Captain Cook's beer. Um, as a common forest tree, grows really, really huge, can grow up above two meters in diameter. And um, one of the forest giants, you often get like northern rata growing on the top. And then it'll, the northern rata is a big tree too, but it starts up high in the canopy. And then it sends a big root down alongside the rimu trunk. And then it sends roots around the trunk, kind of like a strangler fig. And when the tree is really old, when the Rimu tree is really old, it'll decay and it can't actually grow anymore because of the, the ratas around it. So you end up with this big rata tree. So Rimus are one of the forest giants. They stick up out of the canopy. Really impressive trees. Easy to identify because it's got this kind of weeping foliage. Um, this actually smells really nice too. Um, I've often chewed this on my one of my walks around the street, just to fresh my fresh in my breath. It smells really good, kind of piney, and uh, yeah, really cool tree. Really beautiful as a young tree with the weeping foliage, and then grows into this great big epic forest giant. And that's Remy. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to climb to even greater heights with learning about plants, subscribe below, I'll keep you up to date and I'll see you again.